All right, baby, here we go. The official five day early. We got it five days early for the motorsport. Let's go. Five days early access. Man, I had to wait up for this. It's like three in the morning, man. And I, I had to wait up for this one. Let's check out this intro. We gather at iconic cathedrals of speed. United by passion. Driven by competition. We bond over every challenge. Celebrate every second found. And discover who we are at the limit. Welcome to a new era of motorsport. Welcome to Forza. It's about to go down. Okay, short, sweet, right to the point. I think they're gonna take us into a training, which we're gonna need because Forza has different physics than the Gran Turismo and the Settle Corsa Competizione. Well, we don't know now. We know, you know, this is gonna be my first time touching this game, so they might have done something special with the physics. Oh, it's beautiful. I can say that right now is what is clean. Maple Valley is the perfect track to put the new Corvette E Ranger in its paces. It's not a race. You won't be alone out there, so keep an eye out for traffic. Hopefully, my steering wheel is automatically set up. I don't have to go into the segments. We're going to see. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I need manual too. Oh, it feels track. good. When it's blue, be on the gas. When it's red, hit those brakes. Wait. Okay. Break before yeah. the turn. Coast through it, then accelerate as you I think I'm on an auto. I need more uh more feedback in the Oh watch it. More feedback in the steering wheel though. Experiment with the different views from inside and outside the car to best see down the track. We'll do that later. I do have to set up my steering wheel. Feels good though. Man, it looks really good. But that's tighter than I expected. Okay, I gotta move my mic out of the way. I know it's just a, a stock a stock Corvette, but it feels loose. Like like it doesn't grip at all. Come on, get out of the way. Come on, scat pack. Move it. So far, it's okay, but I need to go into my controller settings and like against a full field of competition. Next stop, Hakone, Japan. It's here, baby, Forza. Let's see what it do, man. Let's see what it do. For those of y'all that don't know, man, as you can see, I'm a sim racer too. I do it all. I do it all. I love cars. 
Okay, this mic is kind of in the way. I gotta figure it out. Plenty of laps behind us and only a couple more to go. Just one last pit stop for fresh tires and you'll be in a great position for the final push. It's really cinematic. Track is clear to the well, this, of course, is cinema. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to change it to manual. Oh, that's got to grip better than that. I don't want to change my view. Man, that was wide. That was a little uh, pick up on the screen. Oh, you can really feel the car shake even after. You can feel the, the roll. A lot better than in the past. Come on, come on. It doesn't grip like you would expect, though. Whoa, that's slippery over there. Give me some room. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know, I gotta do some tweaking on the steering wheel. taking that inside. I'm not feeling too confident with the car though. Sounds good, man. I'm loving the cockpit view. I really don't like the cockpit view on uh, Gran Turismo much at all. Oh, that's slick. That is slick. Oh, yeah, that is slick. Like turn ten might have something here so far. Oh, sorry about that. No room. Turn ten might have something here. They might have something. As soon as we do some tweaks to the steering wheel, make sure we get our buttons right so I can change views. I get my manual shifting going. Let's get into the details. Hopefully, yeah, we can get into the details and see From what our customizations are. To thrilling wheel to wheel races. That's just a small sample of what's ahead. Ready to begin your motorsport journey? Definitely. The cars definitely feel Let's gear up for your new racing career. I think better than Gran Turismo. They feel better like some more physics involved in it. You can come back later to try something else or to check out what's Let me grab my controller so I don't have to. Yeah, let's make it simple. Let's just keep moving. We'll come back to that later, all the customization. Of course, we know Fours is known for customizing and, uh, you know, uh, uh, liveries and all that kind of stuff. From the showroom floor to the winner's circle is the culmination of a thousand little decisions. Every part every detail all carefully chosen by great builders who know what it takes to push a car past its perceived limitations to find that extra tenth of a second 
and in the process, create something that is a unique extension of themselves. Your car's journey begins here. To become a Builder's Cup champion, you'll need to outsmart and outbuild your opponents before battling it out wheel to wheel on race day. For our first series, we have a few cars for you to choose from. Each is a great starting point for you to build, so pick the one that speaks to you. I think I'm going to go with the Subaru. Subaru has more control, of course, than Ford. Mustang is just going to be straight line. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going with the Subaru. The limited edition STI 209 may be the greatest high-performance Subaru of all time. Its compact turbocharged engine and all-wheel drive system is perfect mm -hmm. for epic acceleration and remarkable handling. Exactly. So let's check out what they say about the Ford Mustang, Ford Mustang is straight line power. Pony car and an American icon. This GT model is both beauty and beast, channeling raw V8 power through its rear tires for impressive lap times. Yeah. What do they say about the, the Honda? Honda Civic has been a street tuner favorite for decades with its balance of front wheel drive power and handling. This Type R takes that performance standard to a whole new level. Yeah, we're going all wheel drive. Solid decision. Thank you. Here is where you create your best possible racing experience by adjusting the difficulty and rule set. As oh, driver turn. Evolve, try raising the difficulty to earn even more credits to buy other cars. Let's go. Let's go somewhere mid tier. Right now, sport rules, expert rules, simulated damage, fuel, tires, rewind is off. Let's do sport right now and see what it does, and we'll change them later if, if we don't. If we don't like it. Grand Oak Raceway, Club Circuit. Practice is your time to learn the track layout and how your car handles. I've set a target lap time for you. If you struggle to achieve the lap time, Consider changing the difficulty settings before the race. Now let's I'll get be after. good. Let's make sure we get the. Oops, I don't want any really is real assist. Let's see, suggested line. Yeah, we don't know the track yet. ABS. The car does have ABS, traction control, all that kind of stuff. What I'm looking for. Calibration controller. I don't know what the so they don't have a screen on here that's gonna show me my phonetic or fanatech fanatech phonetic. A lot of people say a lot of different stuff. So yeah, there's nothing on here that's gonna show me. I just I'll just figure it out as we go. No, I want to definitely put it on manual. Auto unassisted steering normal simulation. Let's go simulation. Unassisted. Shifting manual. Track limits off. And we're good. Let's save that. Let's practice first, see how the car feels. <laughs> Let's go. Practice is a critical part of any race event where you hone your skills with your latest build on the track you'll be racing. As you practice, you earn credits and will be tracking your lap times to see how you match up against the competition before the race. All right. Got you. Every practice session has a target lap time. 
which is based on your chosen drive avatar setting. So the drive avatar is pretty much just, just measuring out how good you are staying on the track, staying on your lines, coming out of corners, all that kind of stuff. If you don't hit the uh, competition, it'll place you in certain races depending on your skill level. So I hope it's better this time because last time, well, Forza is known for like chaotic races. People going in not knowing what they're doing. They just want to ram each other and stuff like that. And that's not what race is about, man. You got to go in and you got to know what you're doing in racing. It's just not fun. This feels good. Oh, wow. Oh, downshifted too much there, too much brake. Wow, the back end got loose. are so realistic now in Forza. You really got to control this car, man. I think I'm shifting way too early here. You can feel the weight in the back of the car shifting. Here, this is where they're gonna test us. Is that a Cadillac? Yep. Take the inside here. Ah, uh, couldn't get there. The outside, since we're going, I think it's another right up here. Ah, I didn't shift. I might have to remove the steering wheel off the screen if that's possible. But it does look good. Good, good job on the details in turn 10. We achieved our target time with that last lap. Great work. Even when you break, it's... This is gonna be a... Oh. It's gonna be a nice journey playing this game. I think I'm gonna get back into racing. last racing game that ever got my attention was a set of course of competition it. but this might have me because it's pretty required practice laps complete great work feel free to end practice at any time or continue running hot laps until the session times out all right let's go ahead and do one more lap here Impressed. It's like my 
brakes are so tight they lock. First lap there, but whatever. All right, let's finish the race. Let's see if we can figure out our buttons. Okay, this is look behind. Yeah, I gotta set these buttons. Oh, what I just press? I really don't know what I just pressed. Okay, I gotta change all of this. Which one can I press to finish the race here? Zoom. It's got to be one button to. Oh, okay. Here's the views. That was a great practice session. Now it's and, time to Okay, race. I got to change a lot of buttons. But I was just so eager to go in. I didn't want to. I but I can't see the steering wheel to figure out. Maybe it's because this controller is, is connected. It might be because of that. But let's go race. It might be because of that, because we got the Xbox Elite 2 controller connected. It's a stacked field today for this first event. Am I going to win? Have time to size up the competition before race starts. Care about this competition? Let's go. Peons. I'm not gonna lie, this might be difficult because these physics are, are new to me. Yeah, let's go here. Please don't let this be all chaotic. Oh, chaos starting. This feels really nice. Okay, they got the penalty system going. Although I didn't get a penalty. Come on, pick it up. Let's go. Now I really can't see the sides right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, he's got the slip screen. Should have stayed behind him. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, no penalty. Good. Just a little incidental contact. Why am I in first gear? Lost a lot of time there. Oh, this is nice, man. I'm feeling it. Okay, turn 10, we might have something. I'm taking the outside, give it to me. I think he's still there. A third, how many laps, four? Okay, it looks 
looks like we get points for how we drive. I should have stayed in third there. Segment scores, how you take corners. Let's go. I don't think I'm going to get first. Too hard on the brake there. Come on. At least let me get second. See if we can get it. Oh, come on. Four wheel drive now. Kick in. Oh, come on. I don't want to cheat it there. Come on. The slipstream. Yeah, I don't think we're going to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> At least second. A lot of damage down to the car, though. Good run out there. We finished P2. So the Civic's got more horses by like 30. Almost. Almost 30. Points earned after every race will determine our overall series standings. Ending the series at the top of the leaderboard means that trophy is ours. Okay. Uh oh. Just came out. It's actually early. Builders so we're going to have some updates. Good showing out there today. Much too late. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> of course, you get a whole lot of points. You got to get the points, and you a lot. We'll to get, yeah. parts that we can use to increase vehicle performance. Right, 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 right. Tire width unlocked for use on the sewer. Okay. Rim size unlocked. Anti sway bars. Bet. We're ready to head out for our next event. All right. Let's hit one more event here. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade your car. Use the valuable car points you've earned for new performance parts. New parts will be unlocked as you level up your car throughout the series. Leveling up your car earns you car points, or CP for short. Using your CP gets you the best performance upgrades to install. Try to experiment with different parts. If a part doesn't get you the results you were looking for, remove it. Then use the refunded CP for something else. Okay. No two cars are the same. Each car has its own unique set of parts. As you level up the car, new categories of parts will unlock. Installing okay. parts will change the car's performance, and the PI number this. will be recalculated to reflect that change. A car's PI is determined by its level of performance. The faster the car, the higher the PI number. Car class corresponds to a specified PI range. Each event will have a car class and PI limit, PI limit. that we will need to stay under in order to compete. Which is like Gran Turismo, it's the BOP races, the uh, balance of power. As we build, be sure to keep an eye on the balance between power and handling. Over investing in any one area can hurt our competitiveness. Experiment to find a build that's right for you. Hmm. Quick upgrade will install parts for you and build a car with a balanced performance. Uh. Gotta find the button. Yeah, we might as well use this. This is a summary of how your car's performance will change when we install the parts for you. Okay. All right. Now that we have some new parts elementary. installed, let's head out for our next event. Thank you. That's what I want to do. That build looks good. Let's head to Magello. Let's go. I'm hoping 
that they have settings where I can see my steering wheel and set the buttons up instead of seeing a controller. But I have to disconnect the controller from the PC. It's connected wirelessly right now, so after it shuts off. Changing one driving assist at a time is the best way to understand how each affects car control. While you're running the required practice laps, push that new build to the limit to hit that target lap time. All right. Let's hit this target lap time again. Boy, got skills over here, man. Damn, you in the pit. Chill out. As you practice, you will pass through select track segments that are key to fast lap times. Your time is tracked through key segments, and when you improve your time, you'll receive a car progression bonus. I would like to race. Thank you. you know what track is this? This feels. Can't wait to get to like GT3. Then we hit that. The edge there is, uh, it really takes the car. It wants to take control of the car. That might be a little too much though. Shouldn't do that much. Every circuit features key segments, like the one you just completed, that we can use to gauge your overall lap performance. Experiment with where to get on the brakes, when to accelerate, and find your perfect racing line to shave precious seconds off your lap time. Brian here. Segments so far, good segments. This one's kind of deceiving right here. That turns kind of deceiving. Wonder if I can get a little more on that curve there on that green. That's a bad turn. There you go. That was your fastest time through that segment this session. Keep it up, and we'll have no problem getting the results we're after today. Me up, come on, man. Oh, you slowed me up. Well, I might get a little faster here taking a slip screen. It comes a deceiving turn here. You really got to break it down here. Slowing me up. You gotta move, guy. Almost lost it. You gotta move. Go racing. 
All right. Let's go. Let's see if we can get first this time. If I get first, I'm buying myself a drink. If I don't get first, I'm buying myself a drink. <laughs> I'm excited, man. I'm excited about this damn game. Looks really good. Oh, what just ha really? I can't remember the rewind. Oh, it's this one. Whoa, what's that? I want to see what happened. Seriously? That's not good. That's not good. So we need to go far enough back. I got to get these buttons down because I need to see left and right. Let's get over here and block a little bit first. That was... Oh, it's still chaotic. It's still kind of chaotic. But it's okay. Whoa! Okay, let's do some racing here. I'm going to remove this suggested line. I hate that. Just got to familiarize myself with, myself with the tracks. Oh, I forgot about this turn. I completely forgot about that turn. I keep thinking like GT3. Not realizing I'm not in a supercar. This is a regular street car. every race though I don't like super simple come on Not getting any penalties. It is green, so I don't know my track limits yet. Cause uh, 
Gran Turismo is not forgiving when it comes to track limits. Might be able to catch one. I'm not gonna catch him. Woo! Woo! The adrenaline rush when you race. Making sure you hit these lines. Hit the apex just right. That was pretty decent. I think I came from 24th. I think I was in last place. Great race. We finished P5. Yeah. When do I get to GT3? It's going to be a long road for that, I know. I just wanted to get into it before I went to bed. See if I could bring you guys some of these some of this content, man. Let you know if whether to get it or not. So far, uh, it's it's a plus. It's a it's it's a positive thing. It's a positive Only game. I like it. Event left to go in the series. So far. Let's get going. Oh, let's do the last event. Let's see what the replay looks like. I don't like that loading stuff. Same thing. It's always been the same. All right. Let's continue. Performance. Let's see if we can do an auto. Quick upgrade. Yeah. Looks like the car is ready. So let's head to Kyalami. Hi, Alami. I'm not familiar with these tracks, man. Is that on the set of Corsa? Cut no. Kai Alami? I wonder how many tracks there are. I think they said there's 20 tracks. 20 tracks on here, but we have a whole lot less vehicles. Of course, they're going to have a lot of DLC vehicles. That's all it is about now is making money when it comes to these games give you a little bit and release a lot later Right now I'm not using my ultra wide. I'm not really used to not being able to see in my peripheral. I'm back on racing. <laughs> I love it, man. It'll be interesting to see how people play online if they take this game seriously. Ooh, almost lost it.
I swear, when you hit the edge, the car wants to leave. It shouldn't be that much, though. It's not like it's a big sausage. So I said that all wrong. Sausage. I wonder what Super Super GT thinks about it in uh, Yard Year. I'm probably butchering his name, though. These are the guys I watch. Super GT. Yard of Year. Uh, Dan. They are beasts. I will also watch some other guys in, uh, what's it called, uh, I can't think of the name of the game right now. I watch Arius. Formula One racing. Oh, wow. Oh, bring that gear down. That. The car wants to leave. It wants to go where it wants to go. You hit an edge. Wow. Look at that. Just wanted to test that one last time. I think that's too much. Stay off the curb. Ah, I knew that was too wide. Yeah, that was bad. the last no this is the second lap Gets you the braking. That's dirt right there. That's dirt. That's why I'm losing that back end like that. That's dirt. But right there, I don't know. so slow. This computer. Still there? 
there? See behind me. Oh yeah. I like it. All right, last race. Great work and practice. Time to race. Cars look really polished. The damage is always spectacular in Forza. Car damage is not realistic, but it is the, the realest it's been in any video game. In any sim racing game, Before Forza race, has damage top notch. Position. If you cross the finish line in first, second, or third position, you will receive a podium bonus. The size of the podium bonus depends on your starting Actually, a set of course it does too. Settings. The more you challenge yourself, the bigger the podium bonus could be. I think a set of course that actually actually is better. Like it is. This is more cosmetic. I should say that, but I'm not sure about this one. But in previous games, it was more cosmetic. Instead of course of competition, man, your steering wheel can be sideways if you damage anything in your steering mechanism. Anything like it could be just crazy. Flat tires. Oh, a nighttime race. Eyes ready. Thing. Move! Choose a side. Keep it clean out there. Stay aggressive, but avoid trading paint or taking any That shortcuts should not have been my fault. We don't want to pick up any time penalties that, that could hurt our fault. chances at a top finish. Total time penalty is about half a second. Okay, I got a half second penalty. Whatever. That's a that's a penalty too. Okay. It definitely is a little more chaotic. I can't control the car the way I want to. second penalty let's see how that's assessed is it just in the end time or oh no I forgot this thing does not grab this turn well All right, let's, let's try that again are ridiculous that shouldn't do that I'm sorry that shouldn't do that the car just it's an all-wheel drive car hitting this edge and for some reason the back end just gets grabbed I don't get that that doesn't make too much sense I hear a car to my right
And I hear another one to my right. Or is that... to say about that. That was too wide. Man, it looks beautiful. The game looks good. I almost did it again, and I did do it again. That's the deceiving turn. Seems like you can go flat out in this turn, but you gotta let off a little bit here. Let the car catch. charger. Come on. This thing, man, I swear, I feel the suspension of this thing and everything. Been a dive bomb. Oh, come on. Choose a side, man. Choose a side. Jeez. <laughs> I'm giving you plenty of space over here.
going to be enough for right now. I'm going to have to continue this. Welcome to the Builder's Cup. To Builder's Cup. Nicely done. We finished P3. Best lap 211. I had the best lap out of everybody. Eventually, I'm going to take this uh, difficulty up. That's pretty. I gotta go with the blue. I love blue. I might be right why I picked this car. Congrats. We just earned our first Builders Cup trophy. Not a bad way to start our collection.